This is the new Alderson Waste Recovery System. It is made up of a series of standard plastic guttering and three waste collection tanks. There are two left and right blank ends and two left and right ends that connect to the discharge pipe that goes into the first collection tank. Standard plastic guttering that's in between. The guttering should be fixed to the wall horizontally. You need to catch most of the waste sludge in the gutter rather than drain it into the tanks. The idea is to just let the water drain into the tanks. The bracket should be located approximately 100 millimetres apart, but as close to the joins as possible. The first piece that you fix to the wall should have two brackets to make it easier to dry fit to connect the next piece of gutter to it. There we go. Near all dry fit joins? Leave plenty of room between the top edge of the gutter and the bottom of the next board up again, so that you can fit the a rubber first. seal between the gutter and, and the bottom board. The, uh, into the rest of the Once the gutter has been fixed to the wall, you then connect the flexi, flexi hose to the end gutter with the drain pipe fitted into tank number one. Then connect the other two tanks together. Connect the drain hose and flow it to the nearest right, so stormwater drain. No, no waste and pretty much just water coming through. And you lead it to your stormwater drain. Lastly, fit end. the rubber seal between the gutter and the wall. Then lay the environment on the ground underneath the guttering. This mat is used to collect splatter caused when stripping any layers of acrylic paint. It does not contain lead. When you need to reposition the guttering, scoop out the waste from the gutter into a container for disposal. Remove the riser in tank 3 to drain it, then disconnect tank 1 and fit the cap over the inlet into tank 2. Gently pour the water from tank 1 into tank 2, disposing of the waste slurry in it. Refit the riser in tank 3 and pour the contents of tank 2 into tank 3. Reconnect the tanks to the repositioned guttering. The water is trapped in the guttering along with the sediment. Now the sediment tends to uh, settle in the guttering and that's fine because um, once when it's time to move the guttering for the next position it's a simple matter of clear, cleaning out the guttering and putting the waste into a container. This new Alderson waste collection process can be used for all Alderson sanding applications. Uh, for example, just the removal of acrylic paint or the total removal of uh, lead-based or non-lead-based paint. But obviously it's a particularly important to be used for the removal of lead-based painted surfaces. Laboratory tests have shown that there is almost no lead in solution discharged into the stormwater drain. In fact, our test showed that the discharge was 0 0.00002 of one kilogram per litre of water discharged. But more importantly, there was no water containing lead flowing through the environment into the surrounding ground area. It is, however, still important to use the environment because when stripping, the initial layers of acrylic paint tend to splatter and this splatter is caught by the environment. So when using this system you don't use the environment so much. It's a personal preference how you set up the guttering. You could set the guttering up so that it fits the length of the wall to be sanded in which case you will need to purchase more guttering from your local hardware store and cut it to fit the length. Alternatively it is easy enough to pre-fit the brackets for the whole wall, set up the guttering either to the left or the right hand side, sand or strip part of the wall above the guttering and then simply move the guttering along the wall. This shot shows the waste that's collected in the guttering which can be scooped up and then placed into a uh, collection bin. Uh, it also shows underneath the environment there is no contamination of the ground surface at all, so no waste has gone through the mat, no water has flowed through the mat, so there is total absence of any lead contamination in the ground area.